Hey, Eagle Run 2-3 here. Look at this beautiful little piece of property. We are out here shooting 8.6 blackout. We're gonna shoot some water jugs. We're gonna shoot some Dr. Peppers. And most importantly, we are going to test fire Carl's gun that we uh, had an un unfortunate incident with. And uh, it's all back together and it's better than ever. And we're gonna test it today just to make sure it is working 100% for him. Now we do think there's going to be a bit of an issue with the Lancer mag versus P mag situation. Uh, and we changed bolt carrier groups. So we're gonna have to test that today and see the, it's a little windy out here guys, sorry about that. The Lancer mags with the aero precision, he felt like fed better. Uh, but now that we've got that JP bolt in there, it's possible that we need to go back to a P mag. So we will test that today and see how it all works. Make sure you stay tuned and uh, enjoy the footage. Okay, so when we're slamming home here, we've just got a little bit where it's not going into battery. Now, sometimes it seems like it does. If we load one or two, it's going. Um, but sometimes this Callaway ammo is just not going into battery. So we're going to switch over and try some Gorilla. Just one round with the P-Mag versus that Lancer, and it did go into battery. should go right to my side and not hit me. <laughs> it hit me, hit me right in the finger. <laughs> oh my god. Right okay, here's just one round in the Lancer mag. Let's see if it goes home. Actually, let's do this. Send it off of the charging handle. Nope. Okay, so this was the Callaway target round. That's a 300 Sierra Match King? Uh, 285. 285 Match King. We've got a dead center hole, and it, the hole is so tight, it's barely even leaking water. I think we can shoot that one again. Okay, much better hole. Did not get the massive explosion I was looking for, but definitely shook the water out of that one. Perfect. Went right down the middle. Uh huh. Th 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 God, we were trying to catch it. Trying to catch one of those gorilla. We want to see the pedals. In an attempt to catch the famous 8.6 blackout gorilla pedals, it blew through four jugs, skidded off the ground, and went into the Texas wilderness. Hey, just got back from shooting with Carl, and there's even more orders for our stickers. Check out the 8.6 Blackout sticker. Um, these are available on Eagle Run 23. There is the website right there. And order yourself some stickers. We got I Heart the 80s for those of you building guns, regular logo for the channel, and then our comical one for now. It's okay, it's not loaded. So go ahead and hop on there, grab your stickers. The last time I talked about them in a video, they virtually sold out. Um, a couple of them, when they're gone, they're gone forever. Uh, there's gonna be more coming very soon, so I'll make sure and let you guys know, but these are still available for now. There's not very many left. I didn't order very many, I'll get more. Uh, but thank you guys so much for the support. Um, we had a good time sticking those in envelopes and getting those shipped out to you. Uh, my daughter helped me with that. And we had a good time doing it. Oh, we had a great time. 
uh, shot those water jugs, tried to catch a pedal and it just didn't work out. Um, maybe I need five or six jugs of water or maybe some bigger jugs of water. We'll keep trying. I would love to catch, I, maybe I need to order some gel or something. So the style of video that you just watched is not something that I've ever done before, typically just here at the workbench. And so running two cameras and getting downrange shots, I enjoyed it. Please let me know if you enjoyed that as well. I, I would like to do more of that. Um, Carl's property is not too far away. He said I was welcome to come back. Um, and then my property is a couple hours away. I don't get there on the regular, but if that's a different style of video that I need to start doing, I'm willing to do that. I also want to go hunt hogs out there a little bit more. So plenty of opportunity to shoot some things with our guns other than just going to the range and shooting targets or here at the workbench um, filming. So I would maybe like to evolve a little bit and do some different styles of videos. So hopefully you're here for it. One thing I would like to clarify in the video was the situation between the P-Mags and the Lancer Mags. Now, I ordered some Lancer Mags the other day. They're supposed to be here any minute, um, probably today or tomorrow. And we'll take a look at those and look at some of the differences in them and kind of talk about it. I also kind of alluded in the video that there was a problem specifically with Callaway ammo. And that was really not an accurate um, representation of how Callaway performed today. Um, their bullets went off fine. We found that now that he has that JP bolt, that that bolt prefers the P mag. I don't know if that's a real thing or what, but apparently we can also, the, the feed lips on the Lancer are metal. So apparently we can also kind of tune those feed lips a little bit. It seemed as if when there was a mag in the gun, it was prohibiting it from going all the way into battery. And that's what you saw there, that little clip where the bolt was not going all the way forward. Um, we kind of sorted that out while we were there at the property, but I didn't really talk about it on camera again. I need to be a better YouTuber. Um, uh, sometimes it's hard when you're hanging out with someone, it's hard to you know keep the camera rolling and end up with a bunch of footage that's no good. But anyway, uh, we kind of figured out that the PMAX was working better with it, but I'll tell you there's an update to this that just happened um, here in the last little bit. And Carl has said that he put a heavier spring. Uh, he's got a fully JP adjustable system now. He's got the adjustable uh, weight BCG and he has the adjustable silent spring capture system. So he has weights he can move around all sorts of different places. And given that he does not have an adjustable gas block and he's only shooting subsonic ammo, uh, he wants to tune it to that Gorilla 288 or 285, he wants to tune it to that. So that's pretty much the only bullet he's gonna run. So he went back and put a heavier spring because it came in his kit. He put the heavier spring in and it was feeding just fine off of the Lancer mags. So good to know, happy to report that. Um, for now, this is pretty much the end of the exploded 8.6 blackout gun that I ruined. <laughs> We've got it all back together. He has been made whole. Um, I think I need to Venmo him for a couple of parts here and there. But other than that, he is completely made whole. He's happy. I'm happy. Guys, don't let other people shoot your reloads. Okay, you go run two, three. We'll see you next time.